This is part three of modeling the underwater explorer and uh, I've done a couple of things since uh, part two. Uh, I've just, there, yeah, control and up arrow. I've just named things to make it a little bit easier. And I've also gone around and I've deleted a bunch of back faces uh, to keep my polys a little bit lower. I think this is going to get pretty high. Anyways, I want to get right into it, so I'm going to select the main body and look from the side. And I think I'm going to try to do some little windows or something if I can. So let's put some edge loops in here. Let's see how that works. And what if I put one there and uh, one there? One there. Is that too close? Let's find out. Where do I want them? What if I do? Yeah, that might be a little bit close. Oh, by the way, that's switched to medium. Yeah, I think uh, I think I need one. Let's see. If I do those ones, and those ones, maybe I can do one more here. Do it like that. And then I want I want a ladder going up the side. So I do that and that and that. Maybe I'll move all of that forward just a little bit. Okay, hang on. So I'll take all of this stuff. <clears throat> I should be able to move it up forward without a problem. And then once again. So where do I want them to want them there? I have a ladder right there. Let's try that. Let's uh, inset. Let's switch to individual origins. And let's try W uh, loop tools circle. Let's scale them down. Just like that. Now I could do this region and then just copy it over and do that and then that, but Maybe it doesn't matter. I, I'm going to try to make uh, these outer vertices look uh, like like this inner circle. So I'm going to hit GG for edge slide. And bring it up. And this one, GG. 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 This one, GG. And this one, GG. And then I'm going to take these two and scale them in the Y. I can't do that in individual origins though, can I? S Y. Okay, like that. S Y. I hope I'm not going to have problems with these ones too close. S Y. Alright, should be good enough. Let's grab these faces in the middle. Turn a little bit. I'm going to hit E to extrude, pull it in just a little, and then more. E. Yeah. Well, do I need, need to go in more? Do I did? Do I? Did I do it again? And then in again a bit more, like that. Let's delete those faces and just see what we got. So I got a rim there, eh? I'm not sure if I wanted that. <laughs> but uh, there are my holes. Let's come back because I want to work on the ladder now. So I got my holes. All right. So um, yeah, I got my 3D cursor right there. It doesn't really matter where it is. Well, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to grab this edge, Shift D and P, and break it out. And use this. All right. So I'll set the origin to jet that, and I'll I'll go uh, Shift S cursor selected. All right. I'm going to convert this. <clears throat> to a curve and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to name this uh, ladder curve and I'll be deleting it later so I can find the thing okay let's shift A let's bring in a cylinder let's go for 24 and good no tops <clears throat> scale this into Z I'm going to array this so let's get the approximate uh, size for this. Is that too wide for that? Hmm. It's hard to tell. 
let's uh, shift D and uh, bring one out. Let's uh, rotate X90. That could be the cross piece, but I'll make it smaller. Scale, shift Y. Probably will actually be shorter than that. See, that was in there. But this thing here, I want to put a bunch of segments on. Just going to roll my mouse up and get a bunch because I'm going to be curving this. And by the way, are all my polys facing out? They are now. Let's try this. Control L and Shift D and just bring it over. So let's just see what that would look like if that was there. Well, I can change the size of that. So let's, let's array this in uh, array. <clears throat> I'll go minus 1 in the Z, 0 in the X, and we'll just up the count a bit. I'm going to have a curve along there. That might be too many. I don't know if that's the right size. You know what? I'll put one more on, and we'll and we'll see. All right. So this is the weird part. Sort of weird part. I'm going to add a curve and choose a ladder curve, and I think we want Z. I don't know all the time. No, it's not behaving like it's Z. Let's try Y. Let's try negative Y. That's going to be it. And that will roll it up. And X, I think, will bring it in and out. Uh, so I don't want it there. Uh, I want it sort of there so you could go up and work on that stuff. It's okay if it's right underneath the wing. So X is going to bring it in. <clears throat> Have a look at that. I think that's probably okay. <clears throat> so if that was the case, I should just be able to smooth it and it looks all right. What I'll do is set origin a 3D cursor first of all, bring it in a little bit closer. It was just off the surface. Try that. And let's see about... Uh, oops, yeah. I'm going to have to apply it. Is that alright? Does anything need to be changed? Is that too thick for these? Maybe. And then it's going to be gone. And let's say go on a wireframe. Let's scale. Let's see. If I just scale globally, we'll, tr we'll do that. If I do it like that, do I want one more segment or not? It'll go up there, eh? Oops. Maybe that's good. All right, let's uh, let's give it a try. All right, and let's get back to it. Yeah. Okay. So let's come up now to here, and. Um, <clears throat> Thinking about so where my median point. I don't know if I need to be an individual. ENS. Thinking about that. And um, what if I delete these ones? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. 
And can I? Yes. Yeah. Let's try that. And Shift S, cursor selected, and then let's look from the back. And let's put the 3D cursor like kind of we'll try it there and I'll hit spin. And I think that's gonna be alright. I'm not sure that that's that I wanted it that thin. I think I wanted this a bit thicker than this. So let's tr let's go back. Select it all and uh, remove any doubles. Yeah, and there were doubles. Select that again. E and S just a little bit like that. From the back, the 3D cursor's there. Let's hit spin. <clears throat> it's pretty darn close, but I'm going to put a ring underneath there anyhow for it to connect. So let's have a look at that. All right, and I'll put some edge loops in there. So we could do that now. We'll bring an edge loop up here. I'm not worried about edge slide there. Actually, before I do that, will it? I might have to bevel these. Oh, did I? Oh, I see. Yeah, darn it. Mm. Let's just bring them straighter. That wasn't the best way to do it. Let's just put two there. These ones are okay, I think. Is fine. All right, it just does that kind of thing. All right, yeah, and I can put, I can put another edge loop here to fix up that shading. There we go. You know, and from a distance. All right, so let's get that ring in there somehow. <clears throat> what about? Um, can I do them both together? E and S. E and kind of pull them down just by eye. And yeah, they're not very big, are they? No, let's not do that. <clears throat> um, what about taking these? E and S. that either. Just thinking here. Well what I could do could I could I move it away? Just a little like that. I'll just bring one in. Okay. Or maybe... No, maybe I can build it. Then I can bring it closer. E and S. E. And bevel that. Do something down here as well just to cap these off well that's gonna be tough um, what if I put an edge loop just there just where it lands and then grab these faces and these faces and E and S just a little bit Let's, maybe we'll delete those faces and these faces and then uh, just a simple face. I suppose, uh, I suppose beveling. Not much though. Just, I'll just put one edge loop there. 
And I guess I gotta do that up here as well. I'll just do one though. I might need an edge in there. I'm not sure if I did. <clears throat> and I'd cap those off at the end. And then what I want to do is I want the ladder to be held on better than that. And so I've applied that so I can actually get rid of this curve. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, just where the 3D cursor is, I'm just going to bring in a circle. And I'm just going to use 24, that's fine. Scale it down. that kind of thing. I'm just going to cap it off with an end gun. Do that. Grab the edge here. E. Pull it down. And then uh, bevel that. I might want this a bit longer. Okay. Actually, I'm going to need an edge loop right here. I'm just going to add smoothing. We'll smooth it like that. And then we'll bring it in and we'll see how big it is. All right, so where I'm going to want this is there, after those two, and maybe those two. Or if I go three, no, I'm going to have it there. So just mess around for a minute until we get it. All right, let's, uh, let's copy it. Look from the side until they're both roughly in the same position. And we'll join them. And then we'll uh, fix that position up. Let's look from the front. Rotate Y. Oh, not quite long enough, are they? And that's why I wanted to do that. All right, let's go in. And we'll grab uh, that edge and this edge. And will normal help me out at all? No, it won't. So we'll just pull it in. Okay. Gee. Like that. <clears throat> so let's have a look at those. Are they too big? Well, they're like little suckers there that's fine though and so we'll do it do it uh there it doesn't have to be right in the middle or anything so i'll take them okay cool and um shifty and we're going to bring them down to there right i think Rotate in the Y. Let those move over a little bit. And that would basically be it for my ladder. Now, I don't have subdivision on anything, right? Just smoothing. So how will it look if I join them? because I want to put this on the other side as well. All right, so let's select the ship. The cursor is selected and select this and mirror with respect to the ship. And we should get it on the other side and it should look okay. And that reminds me, well, windows on the other side too. Um, <clears throat> How easy would it be for me to split this in half?
think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. All right. Okay. So, I'll do something with those windows in a bit. I, I want to work on something for the supports for these. Um, I think what I'm going to do is select the. Um, let's can I do those? Uh, the mirror. Eh? All right. Well, I got that there. So I'm just going to bring in a cylinder. Just like that's fine. Uh, rotate X90. And pull it under the ship. somewhere here so they don't go past this level so it could rest on the ground that way and like something like that maybe it has to be bigger but this one I'm also just going to cap off that way and we'll, uh, we'll bevel those. And we'll put on smoothing and we may have some issues, we may not. Okay, now it's not going to be central or anything. scale shift Y okay I'll, I'll work on on something with, to do with that in a minute uh, so what I was thinking was you have a bar that goes under and attaches to that it comes up goes around here all right so the way I'm going to do it I think <clears throat> is anything that's not mirrored if I bring in a pl uh, plane there, yeah, I'll do it. It doesn't really matter. All right, um, vertex and um, merge at center, so I get this one point. Nah, don't do that. Let's look from the front. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have it. So, so how I want this? I think I want it like in a ways. So I'm gonna try it this way. This is a bit of an experiment. Okay, so it does that. I might mirror this as well. Okay, so let's look from the front. Um, that might have to come out. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, split that. So it's gonna rest against sort of a bar. I'll make a bar out of this. And that'll come in like that. And then I could make it just go down to that. What do I wanna do? I think I do. I think it's going to go like this. And join. Maybe these have to come closer to the body as well. Um, so we got that. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, Can I do this and just bring it over for now? And join those. And to, and then, uh, can I do both of these at the same time? Control Shift B, let's see how that goes. Of course you can. I just want a little bit of a curve on that. And I'll do both of these, Control Shift B that 
it's going to be a little bit odd here. It's okay, I can pull everything in. All right, well, let's start. Um, I'm going to convert this to a curve, and I can certainly uh, work on it more anyhow uh, as a curve. Yeah, so let's bring that in like that. Nestled in a bit tighter. And let's bring that in. Let's make sure we're not. Okay, so I wonder. I may want this in the middle. Oh, I may not matter if it goes over that. Let's just think of this. Let's bring it down just a touch. This would be here, and there'd be a slightly better attachment, you know, like with something like these or that. I'm just wondering if I want this, you know, that kind of thing. Although, do I have to smooth that out? that it matters uh, these would be attached by like straps or something like that anyhow and then it's just a question of do I want the whole thing you know like there in between these and I could move this one you know I can move this one I can get all the pieces Moving the mirrored one, yeah. Like that. What if I did that? Is that okay? And then I would take like, uh, well, I'm gonna mirror that on the other side. Let's see if I can do that right away. So that I could take this shift D and use it. All right, but we'll scale it like that. And we'll scale it in the Y as well. So I could have that, Shift D, and have another one. Okay, on both sides. And uh, maybe I'd need one down there. I don't know. I mean, I could, uh, could I try it? Uh, actually, in the meantime, though, uh, what else would I want to do? How do I want to connect this? Not thrilled about these. Not very impressive, but uh, that's maybe just the way it's going to go. Shift D. Let's grab these. Let's see if I could reuse them. Look from the front. <clears throat> and let's uh, rotate in the Y. I'm just looking at the connection itself and then I can adjust this. And if I just pull it down, no, I'll 
pull it over. Scale shift Y again. I mean, it's a small detail. I just want to make sure that I have clearance of those things. That could maybe work, could it? I mean, who's ever going to see under here anyhow? Now, if I switch to normal, does that help me? Oh, that helps me. I just was wondering if I wanted to do that. No. Does that look any good? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I think. So what if I take that and mirror that across there? And then those will attach to the ship. Hmm. Just uh, not sure about this. I think that's probably all right. So just, you know, do I like this shape? Um, just one last time before I, before I leave this. And then that makes that sharp. One last time before I leave it. Yeah, what am I thinking? I can't, I can't bevel that. No, I think I will go with it. And it's going to be fine. Justify it really, but I'm doing it. Nope, not that guy. There we go. Okay. I think it needs something else. I think these, or that, yeah, shift D, rotate Z 90. 
need to come down to this level as well. Hmm. All right, let's, let's look this way and see if I can tell what I'm doing here. Not particularly. <laughs> it's pretty close though. So. I just want to see about this and then what if I push it down to there to help that from to stop rolling. It just does seem, uh, I want to come in. What have I not, what have I got? Do I have two of them on top of each other or something? No. I don't know. Uh, okay. Stop screwing around and just bring it over. There we go. Some small bit more detail. Is there any chance that this should go at that elbow? so that it doesn't look quite as rough. I don't think so. I think it should go just where I got it. I just had a thought about repeating, you know, repeating items for themes. So I was thinking about taking these and using them down here, but I don't think, I don't think I could do it. I think it'd be a pain in the ass. Um, and I was thinking just to join these, you know, maybe I'd do something just really, really simple. I mean, to attach them to the body, basically, you know, um, scale on the axe for as much as you would see them. Simple, simple connection like that, maybe thinner. Scale in the X. And a little bit more central. Scale in the X. Like that. And I could bevel it, and you would never see it anyhow, but it would be the connection to the body. And I can do two if I really wanted. So let's bevel that. I'm certainly not going to do more than that, but I will bevel it like that, and that'll blow some polys, but not too many. And smooth it. I don't know. Is that something I want to do? Or would I want to do a couple of them? Or does that look really bad? It looks really bad, but I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think that helped. Or should I do them out near the front of the ship? That's going to bring attention to it. I don't necessarily want, but I think that's what I'll do. I think they're going to be at the front and the back. I think it makes more sense just to have them like that. They don't have to be perfect, so uh, I'm going to apply that. And that one. And that one I'll apply. And we'll, we'll just join them. And I think I'm just going to join them to there and have it like that. 
All right, so at least these guys do something. And they're attached. You know, details, details. Okay, so I wanted to do that and I did it. Let's have a go at those uh, window frames. So I'm going to select uh, this inner edge right here. Shift D, P, make it a new object. That's not what I want. I'm going to come out. Okay, and uh, select it. Select just that guy. Where is it? Is that you? And turn off the mirror, by the way. That would be helpful. And set origin geometry. Cool. Let's go into edit mode, select it. I'm going to scale out a little bit, and then I'm going to go E and S and scale in. Some of the polys can flip. Okay, make sure you flip all the polys. Select it. Let's uh, E and we'll extrude out like that. And then I'm going to put some edge rings, edge loops, edge rings. Not there. On the inside and on the outside. We will have to, uh, of course, flip the polys and uh, we'll apply smoothing. And I'm just going to just move it back in just like that. And I think we're okay with that. And so what we'll do is we'll take that. I don't know if I'm going to do any more work on it. I'll take that and I'm going to shift D, copy it to cover that one and this one. And then I'm going to join them. Control J. And we're going to mirror them across the ship. Hopefully they show up in the right place on the other side. Cool. All right. That's great. All right. Well, let's take a break and see what we want to do and see if there's anything I can do to fix up the mess at the front of the ship. All right, well, that's it for the time being. Yeah, we got a few more things to do, but uh, that was fun. See ya.